This is the first time in Devin and Anya's relationship that they have faced a situation like this. Devin and Anya had been together for three years. Anya had always known Devin to be a charming person, someone who is always funny and outgoing. Lately, Anya has been noticing that Devin is closed off and withdrawn. He has been barely responsive and making excuses not to meet. Anya first assumes that he must be stressed and overloaded with college work, so she gives him space. But now, Anya is starting to worry that she is doing something wrong or that he has fallen out of love. One day, while they are talking over the phone, Anya decides to call him out on his behavior. I'm worried about you because I feel like you've changed so much. And I can see you pulling away from everyone. Tell me. What's going on with you? There's no point talking, Anya. If I'm being honest, I don't think I'm in the right headspace to be in a relationship right now. I think we should break up. I know you don't mean that. Let's talk about it. Please. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. And I don't know how to explain it. I think I'm depressed. Anya feels guilty for not considering the possibility that depression might be the reason for his behavior. She suggests that they meet up at his house to talk because that is a safe space for Devin. They meet up at Devin's house. Anya initiates the conversation. You seem like you're going through a lot. And I'm sorry I didn't notice it sooner. It's not your fault. I can't find any meaning in life. I just want to be away from everyone. They'd be better off without me. I'm glad you opened up to me. Let's keep talking. Have you had any thoughts about suicide? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think there's anything you can do to help. I want you to know that what you're going through isn't going to change how I feel about you. I love you and we'll get through this together. You can call a hotline and talk to someone who is trained to help you. Would you like me to be here while you make the call? After that, Anya consciously makes an effort to initiate more conversations with Devin and show support. Above all, she knows she has to stay patient. Over time, they grow closer and Anya even manages to convince Devin to open up to his parents and attend counselling. It can be difficult to find the right words to say when someone you love is experiencing depression and suicidal ideation. But overcoming these mental health conditions starts with communication and patience. If you notice the signs, don't hesitate to have those conversations with them. If you or someone you love needs help, call the National Mental Health Helpline on 1926 or any of the hotlines listed here.